Hi, this is Soft Cell Electrical, and I'm your host, John. Yes, I'm back. Welcome to episode number 18 of the Electrical Test Prep Program. Remember, take notes, have your code book ready. This is a test on Article 230, which covers services. It is one of the easier articles, just as Article 225 was. So let's get started and teach you how to get the most out of your code book and to decipher some of the wordy codes that are actually very basic. Let's get started. How many special conditions allow for multiple services on a building or dwelling? A. 4 B. 5 C. 6 D. 7 Number two, true or false. A difference in electrical rates will allow for additional services. Number three, true or false. Service conductors may pass through separate buildings to power a service or services of a separate building. Number four, the minimum size of a service conductor will be A, number 12 copper, or number 10 aluminum, B, number 10 copper, or number 8 aluminum, C, number 8 copper, or number 6 aluminum, or D, number 6 copper, or number 4 aluminum. Number 4, true or false. The minimum distance for a service conductor over public streets, roads, or parking lots shall be 15 feet. Number five, service entrance conductors must be protected by all but one of the listed methods. Number one, EMT, electromagnetic tubing. Number two, reinforced resin conduit, RTRC. Three, rigid metal conduit. Four, schedule 40 PVC conduit. Number six, supports for service entrance conductors not exceeding 600 volts shall be one, six feet, two, nine feet, three, 12 feet, four, 15 feet. Number seven, minimum clearance of service conductors not exceeding 300 volts will be one, one inch, two, two inches, three, three inches, four, four inches. Number eight, true or false. On a three phase delta service conductor, the higher voltage conductor should be permanently marked. Number nine, true or false. Bathrooms can be used for service disconnects or distribution panels. Number 10, true or false. Service disconnects must be marked as such. Number 11, true or false. Under the special conditions, code 230-2, paragraph A, the special condition services may be located next to the normal services. Number 12, true or false. Where main service disconnects are locked, a branch feeder or sub-panel disconnect must be provided with a lower power rating. Number 13, true or false. Why electrical services that are solidly grounded and rated from 150 to 800 volts will have ground fault protection. Number 14, true or false. Ground fault protection to service disconnects will turn off all live conductors and the maximum setting will be 1200 amps. Number 15, true or false. Multi-conductor service conductors shall be a minimum of 8 AWG or 6 AWG if not of multi-conductor design. Number 16, true or false. Service disconnections will be readily accessible on all buildings 
including private property. Number 17, true or false. Multi-building industrial installations under single management may use a single building to remotely control the disconnection of separate buildings or services. Number 18, true or false. Rooms or vaults where service conductors terminate and are over 35,000 volts will have a fire rating of three hours or be enclosed in a metal switch gear compartment. Number 19, true or false. Excluding any exceptions, grounded conductors shall not have a circuit breaker or overcurrent device installed. Number 20, true or false. Cable tray systems can be used to support service conductors using certain methods and are permanently labeled as service conductors. That concludes Article 230. Well, that just about wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching and have a great day.